Hi everyone, in this video I will be going over the binary search algorithm. So what is binary search? Binary search is a searching algorithm that works on sorted arrays. So let's say we have the sorted array 1, 3, 8, 9, 10, 14, and 19. Binary search is an efficient way to tell if a certain number is in this array. So for example, let's say I was searching for the value 8. I want to basically see if 8 exists in this array. So let's go over how binary search works. So the idea behind binary search is that we're always tracking the middle element in the array. And so in this case, the middle element is 9. And right now, the left and the right boundaries for array is index 0 and index 6. So these are just the two ends of our array. So the idea is we want to check is the element we're searching for, so is our target element of 8, greater than, less than, or equal to mid. And so in this case, our target element is less than the middle element of 9. And so what that means is that we want to decrease our upper boundary for our array. And so let me explain why. So if we know that the target is less than the middle element, then that means every single element after the middle element can never be 8, our target. And the reason why is because this is a sorted array. So since we've already established that the target is less than the mid, the target is also going to be less than any of the values after mid. And so because of this, we can essentially decrease the boundary of our array we're searching on. So we no longer have to search for any of these elements. So our boundary decreases. So instead of searching from the indexes from 0 to 6, we now only need to search from the indexes from 0 to 2. Because we know that our target element cannot be 9 or any element above that. Okay, so now let's perform binary search again on our new array. So in this case, the middle element is now 3. And so again, we have to check, is the target element 8 greater than, less than, or equal to the mid? And in this case, the target element is greater than the mid. Based on this, we know that the target element can never be less than the element of 3. And so we know that we no longer have to check the left side of the array. And so what we're going to do this time is we're going to increase the lower boundary of the array. And so instead of it being 0, we can increase it to being 2. So now, right now, both our lower and upper boundary are both 2. And the reason why we increased our lower boundary is because we know that the target element cannot be 1 and it cannot be 3 because we've already established that the target is greater than the mid. Okay, so now our array has been reduced down to the lower boundary being at index 2 and the upper boundary is also at index 2. And so the only element remaining in our array is 8. And so we're going to perform the binary search algorithm again. And so again, we're going to check if the target is less than, greater than, or equal to the mid. And in this case, the target is equal to the mid. 8 is equal to the target of 8. And so thus, we have found our answer, and so our binary search is complete. And so again, the idea behind binary search is that we keep on reducing our initial array in half. And so we continue doing this until we have found our element or until we no longer have an array to check for. So with that, let's go over the code. I'm going to be going over the code implementation for binary search now. And so here I already have our array. And so I'm calling the binary search function. And so the four arguments the binary search function takes in is the array the lower bound, the upper bound, and the target element. And so in this case, I set the lower and upper bound to be 0 and 7, which refers to the lower and upper boundary of our original array. And then the target element we're searching for, we'll put as 10. And so what we want to do within this binary search function is that we know we want to keep on binary searching on an array as long as the array exists and as long as the element has not been found yet. So our condition is basically the upper boundary should be greater than or equal to the lower boundary, because this means that we still have an array to binary search on. And so within this while loop, we want to calculate what the middle element is. And so we know that the index of the middle element would just be low plus up divided by 2, because it's the average of the lower boundary and the upper boundary indexes. And so the middle element would be array of mid. And so we know that if the target element is less than the middle element, then that means we want to decrease the upper boundary. And so the upper boundary would become mid minus 1, because we no longer want to count for the middle element or all the elements after mid. And so same thing, we know that if the target is greater than the middle element, then we want to increase our lower boundary. 
So then our lower boundary becomes mid plus one. And so finally, if we know that the target element is equal to the middle element, then we have found the element we're looking for. And so in this case, we'll just return the index of that element. So else if target is equal to mid element, so returning the index of the element. And so now the final thing is that we know that this loop continues until we no longer have an array. So if we no longer have an array and we still haven't returned the index of the element, then that means that the element does not exist in the array. So what that means is that we're just going to return negative one at the very end to indicate that the target element does not exist in the array. And so again, we're doing the binary search with the target element 10. And so let's run this program and see if it works. And so we get the output of four. And so if we notice the value 10 is at index four. So the program did work correctly. So let's try doing another number. Let's try doing eight and eight is at index two and we get the output of two. And so one final thing I would like to go over is the time complexity for binary search. So the time complexity for binary search is O of log N. And so if you think about it, this is significantly faster than just a normal linear search algorithm where you iterate through every single element in a loop and then you check if those elements equal the target element. That type of algorithm would have an O of N time complexity. However, binary search only has an O of log N time complexity.